Welcome back. It is 8:39. Win or lose, an assistant coach at Plano East Senior High School will think of the season as a gift. He nearly died about a month ago, but says fellow coaches and trainers saved him. Fox 4's Mike Ducey has his story. Let's go. Line up for Kyle. Let's go. Tom Rapp is the energetic 65-year-old assistant head coach of the football team at Plano East High School. And by looking at him now, you'd never know that less than a month ago, he almost died. Hey, Liz, Liz, Liz! Well, I was down on the field, and everybody was heading up here to the indoor and uh, making sure everything was picked up. And I started walking up here and walking behind the baseball field. And really, that's about the last thing I remember until I came to in the emergency room in the hospital. I was walking down this sidewalk. It was August 16th. Rapp had gone into cardiac arrest in this area behind the baseball field. Plano East quarterbacks coach Brad Bailey was first on the scene. So I come up on the hill and for a two seconds, you just don't expect it. Uh, it looked almost, um, you know, not real the way he was dramatically laid out. And I thought for two seconds, I thought, oh, somebody's messing around. And then immediately, obviously, you could tell, saw that it was him, and then he wasn't. So I ran up on him, and he, he wasn't breathing. <clears throat> so to be honest, I didn't really think much. It just, because we do our training, I just, I gave him two breaths. Trainer Chris Foley was there in a matter of seconds, and he sprang into action. Head coach Wood had run into the indoor facility to get the AED. And coach Collins was already on the phone with 911, and uh, we just continued to CPR, and set the AED up and it alternated around to shocking them in chest compressions and mouth to mouth. Close by in the indoor football facility were the paddles, the AED. After shocking Coach Rapp several times, his heart began beating again, and in 12 minutes or so, he was on his way to the hospital where he would spend the next 10 days. This past Monday, I went to my cardiologist just as a follow-up, and I asked him straight out, I said, what caused this? And he said, Coach, he says, I have no idea to be honest with you. medically I cannot tell you what coach Rapp can tell you is how grateful he is to those who kept him alive that day tell me about what you've heard about the actions that were taken to save your life that day well the only thing I can say is you know two people saved my life one is Brad Bailey our quarterback coach because he went down we'd left some footballs down there and he was first one on the scene and you know he started CPR immediately Chris Foley, our trainer, was down getting the water and all the materials off the field. He came up immediately, and he started to, to help Brad take over. He says you saved his life. Well, <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, I'm just glad that somebody was there, that we, you know, if, it could have happened where nobody came along for a couple of minutes. And so I'm just glad somebody was there. He says that you saved his life. Uh, as a team, definitely uh, as a team, everybody stepped up. And like Coach Bailey said, it was a well-oiled machine. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Go, get up in the line. Go on. Yep. Oh, you no know, wins and losses. You know, it's important. But I tell you what, more than anything, it's just human life and uh, quality of life. And I know one thing, um, everything that I'm involved with, with Coach Rapp, it's better because he's a part of it. And, and I truly believe that God had a plan and, and the plan was for Coach Rapp to continue coaching and making a difference in kids' lives. Coach Rapp's near death experience occurred on the same high school campus where a Plano East athlete lost his life just over 10 years ago. Zachary Shaw was a sophomore football player who died after suffering cardiac arrest. And I'm working closely with the American Heart Association and life is why. His mom Karen has established the Living for Zachary Foundation in his honor and over the last decade she's made it her mission to install AEDs in public places like Plano East High School. One of which saved Tom Rapp's life. There's no question. I mean Living for Zachary if if that doesn't happen and Karen, things Karen has done in that organization we wouldn't have the AED in the in the weight room and I'm probably not here. She's affected all of us and it just, yeah, it, come, it came full circle kind of. Um, and it's just, everything happens for a reason. And I'm, I'm sure Karen's happy that, that in some way, Zachary had a, a play in saving somebody else's life.